Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy, and this week's math treat is two timers. We are going to try and cook an egg for exactly nine minutes to get the perfect egg, and we only have these two timers. One can measure exactly four minutes, it's a little hourglass timer where the sand falls through, and the other one, a little bit bigger, can measure seven minutes. Now, with these two timers, you can only measure times in full. You can't estimate when this is timed one minute and flip it over or something like that. You have to use it all the way and then you can flip it or flip the other one or something like that. So using that, can you time out nine minutes? Now, we'll just assume that when you flip the timers, you're not losing it a few seconds here and there. And if you need to, you could flip both of them at the same time and just assume they're completely synced. So we're gonna idealize the situation a little bit. Use a four and a seven. Can you make nine minutes with that? You can make the perfect nine minute egg. That's your first challenge. If you can figure that out, or if you can figure out that it's impossible, whichever one it is, then also think about what are all the possible times that you could measure with a four and a seven. Clearly, with just the four, I can measure four minutes and eight minutes and 12 minutes. And with just the seven, I could measure seven and 14 and 21 and so on. And I could even see how I could measure 11, right? Flip this one over for four minutes when it finishes, flip that one over and get another seven minutes. So there are clearly a list of numbers that you can make. There may be some that you cannot. Think about that as an extension to just solving the nine minute egg timer. If you figure that out, then another extension is change these. Okay, what about a three minute timer and a seven minute timer? Now what can you do and what can't you do? What about a five minute timer and a seven minute timer? What about a five and an eight? So you might explore like, what are the relationships between the different types of timers that you could pick out in terms of measuring these integer values of time? As always, I want you to just have fun playing with the math.